The most significant aspect of Shiva is uh, that he opened his third eye. All the other things, he danced, he meditated, married twice, did so many things, that's not the thing. He opened his third eye. It's only for that we remember him even today. For that uh, even today, after thousands of years, we still bow down to him because there is no substitute for knowing. There is no substitute for knowing means and there is no way to know unless your perception goes beyond your present levels of perception. Unless your ability to see is enhanced beyond its present limitations, there is no way to know. To know is to be free. So, Shiva is significant for us, not because he's decked in Himalayas, not because he played with snakes, not because of this or that, because he opened his third eye. He perceived what most human beings fail to perceive, what is unseen for a large segment of humanity became a normal part of his vision. That's what third eye means. So people say, when Shiva opened his third eye, it was a fiery process, fire came out of it. Why they're saying fire is because within himself, he burned everything that he thought mattered to him. He became like a… like a fire chamber, like a kiln, that within himself, he burned everything that can be burnt and then from every pore of his body, instead of sweat and blood coming, ash came out. Why? Shiva is always depicted as ash smeared. He said he didn't go about smearing ash. Ash came out of his pores. This is to indicate that he has burnt it all. He has burnt every shred of ignorance everything that one believes as true, he burnt. Because he burned everything and everything became ash, then this opening of the third eye could not be denied to him. When it opened, people saw fire because the inner chamber was burning. There are two ways of opening the eye. One way, one way is the inside has become total vacuum, the doorway gets sucked in and naturally has to open. He simply burnt not only his thought, not only his emotion, not his, just his relationships and possessions, he's just burnt his very being. The individual being is completely burnt out and there's a total vacuum, so the door fell inward and it's open. So people saw fire because it was burning still. Another way of opening the third eye is you contain everything inside. Everything is contained. You did not find any expression for your thought, any expression for your emotion, any expression for anything. You could not even utter a word. See, if you remain silent for four days, on the fifth day, you feel like singing suddenly. If you don't know how to sing, you want to howl like a wolf because you want to let go. Hmm. You didn't let go anything, so much pressure built up and this got… door got knocked open from inside. This is another way to do it. The first way of doing is the best way of doing because if you open it by building pressure, it opens up today and again tomorrow it may just shut itself or before enough pressure builds up and this opens, something else freaks in you and you run away, yes. Because uh, the pressure builds up in such a way, if you have to hold it, you need… because you don't know what's happening, it looks like torture. It looks like seventh degree torture. If you're putting yourself through the whole process, then definitely your mind will ask, what is the point going through this torture? Because it's a lot of torture not letting a single thought find expression, not letting a single emotion find expression, not uttering a single word, not having… not finding expression to a single opinion that arises in your mind, single idea that arises in your mind. Oh, 
it'll burst you somewhere. If you hold everything intact, this will open, otherwise something else will freak. But you are a little… you know, you're diplomatic, you believe in the middle path, that means you don't wish to get anywhere. People who believe in the middle path, they determine not to get anywhere in their life. Middle path means just your comfort zone, neither this nor that, either you become empty. Lord Shiva is depicted with a third eye on his forehead and we are told this eye destroys everything it sees. This attribute of Shiva definitely makes a great mythological spectacle. But there is something deeper and more profound that our forefathers are trying to tell us. Shiva destroys the world by opening his third eye. In Hindu mythology, Shiva is one of the principal deities. Amongst the three primary deities in Hinduism of Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. He is the destroyer and reformer, with Brahma being the creator and Vishnu being the sustainer. Shiva has many iconographical attributes which includes body covered in ash, sitting on tiger skin, a cobra around his neck, crescent moon on his head, a trident in one hand, a drum in other hand, river Gangas flowing out of his mate hair and a third eye on his forehead. All of these attributes of Shiva have some significance associated with them and there are very interesting stories associated with all these attributes.